G'day viewers, something a little bit different today, something rather um, sombre, something a little bit tragic, but also something very uplifting. It's a story that um, I feel compelled to tell today. Um, the reasons for that will become clear very soon. Um, yesterday was the 12th of the 12th this year, and it marks the 25th anniversary um, of this dear little girl her name was Moana and she passed away from an asthma attack. Sorry if I'm a bit emotional, but this was a picture she gave me just before she passed away. And I think you'll agree it's it's, for somebody that was four and a half, it's pretty amazing. Now, the reason for for this video today is not just because of um, Moe's nickname was Moe. Um, it's not because just because it's her her anniversary, twenty five years yesterday. It's because of an extraordinary lady called Sue. And every single year for the last 25 years, and she used to only be a neighbour of Terry, who lives here, um, she has done the most extraordinary thing. She's brought flowers, as you can see here, and a card every single 12th of the 12th for 25 years. And now she lives... Um, on the opposite side of the lake it's, it's a fair distance to drive but she's never forgotten you know and I just think that's just an amazing thing and I'll just read you the card and she's she's a church going lady she's very religious um, but she's just you know they say practice what you preach this lady is doing exactly that and the card reads, Dear Terry, remembering your dear precious Moana, praying specifically for you today, God bless you, my friend, love Sue. Now, as a man, I can only, I can't even imagine the sort of grief that a mother would go through losing a child. You know, it's beyond my comprehension and I don't think any man could possibly understand. But to her credit, Terry's managed to forge her head over the years. She's had her stumbles and falls, as we all do. But, um, yeah, it's, it's turned out, it's turned out to be a, um, a happy result in the end. So... That's about all I've got today. That's I just felt compelled this morning to, to tell you this story. I, it just came to me and I thought, I've just got to tell it because um, there's some wonderful people in this world, you know, and Sue's one of them. And um, if there's anything that I'm striving to be a better person, that's the sort of example that that makes you strive harder to, to be less selfish, to be, you know, more thoughtful and inclusive and less judgmental so Merry Christmas to everybody I'm sorry if this is a little bit somber and you know but I just thought it was a story um, well worth telling so until next time Merry Christmas and we'll see you on the next one beautiful flowers for my wonderful lady. Thank you, sir.